Journey to the West, Chapter 64, Magnificent Silk Vests. I hope that monkey finds a lot of food, said Baje. I'm hungry. The Tang monk shivered and hugged himself. I'm so cold, he said. He looked up at the monastery again and then back at his companions. Do you two believe there are demons up there? Wu Jing stroked his chin. I'm not sure. Wu Kong believed it, though. <coughs> ba Jie snorted. Wu Kong is too careful. He's always worried that we'll bump into a demon. His stomach grumbled. Oh, I'm starving! Wu Jing looked at the monastery again. That place looks perfectly safe to me. Ba Jie nodded. It looks warm, too. Maybe the monks there will take us in. It would be nice to get out of this cold, said the Tang monk. That settles it, said the pig. Who cares what that monkey thinks? What does he know? Let's go up there, get warm, and eat some food. The Tang monk climbed back onto the horse, and the three travelers headed toward the monastery. When they got there, no people were around. This place is deserted, said Wu Jing. Ba Jie knocked on the door, but no one answered. Hello! The pig called. Is anybody in there? Again, there was no answer. Ba Jie looked at his companions. Maybe the monks didn't hear me. His eyes lit up. Maybe they're all in the kitchen cooking food. With noodles boiling and vegetables sizzling, a kitchen can be quite noisy. The pig's stomach growled again. I'll go in and find out. He opened the door and stepped inside. The monastery was dark and silent. I don't hear anyone cooking. Baje said to himself. Maybe there isn't anyone here. He walked down a long hallway past several dark rooms. Hello! He called again. Then he saw a room that was lit up. He went inside. Bright sunlight was streaming through a window and onto a table. On the table were three silk vests. Those vests look magnificent, said the pig. He shivered. They also look warm. He looked around. Then he grabbed the vests and hurried back outside. Nobody's in there, he said to the monk and Wu Jing. But I found these vests. Great. Wu Jing grabbed a vest. I'm freezing. Ba Jie handed a vest to the Tang monk. Here you go, master. The monk frowned. I won't wear that. You stole it. I didn't steal it, said Ba Jie. I borrowed it. The monk glared at him. You must return those vests right away. We can return the vests before we leave, offered Wu Jing. Right, Ba Jie? Oh, um, sure, said the pig. We can do that. You two are terrible, said the Tang monk. We'll never get the true scriptures from Buddha if you steal. Bajay shrugged. Master, you don't have to wear your vest, but I'm cold. He put his arm through the armhole. Wu Jing did the same. Bajay put his other arm through. Wu Jing began buttoning his vest. Suddenly, they both cried out. Ah, it's tight! cried Bajay. I can't breathe! cried Wu Jing. They both fell to the ground, trying desperately to take the vests off. This vest won't come off! cried the pig. Who stole my vests? A voice shouted. A demon with one big horn rushed over. He looked at Ba Jie and Wu Jing and then turned to the Tang monk. Who are you? demanded the demon. Uh, I'm from the Tang Empire, said the monk, shaking with fear. 
I'm traveling to the west for... The demon clasped his hands together. You're the Chang Monk!